Okay, hi and welcome to your programming Oracle Database NC3 Part 2. This topic discusses the week 11 to 14 had the exception continuation. So we'll focus on the actual. Okay, so let's start. Of course, before we, before we can proceed, we need to have our own table. And of course, we have to create our table. So first, you have to type create. Okay, create table. Then your cost, uh, your table's name. Sample will use customers. Okay, then open parenthesis. Then what uh, your columns? First column is ID. Set data type should be number. Okay, and the maximum characters is ten, and it should be not null. Means it will not accept any null value. Okay. Next, I want um, to add name. Name variable. Then data type should be variable character. Okay, not null also. Next, let's add address. Then data type should be variable characters also. Then the city. Okay. Then of course we have to close this one. So this is it. So I, I think you still remember how to create. Um, I think you still remember how to create a table. So in creating table, you have just, you just have to type create table. Then what is the table's name? Then open parenthesis. You have the ID table, name table, address table, and CD table. Then these are the data types. Example ID. You only want to use numbers. Okay, so use number. Then maximum character, variable character. For words, variable character, and the maximum characters is 20. So let's try to run. So did you notice? Table customers created. So to check, let's refresh this one. Okay, and look for table, uh, table customers. Double click. Okay, wait. Let's refresh. Okay. Then look for the customers. Okay. Then that's it. So we created ID, customer ID, uh, with column ID, name, address, and city. So these are the data types. And go to data. So we don't have data yet. So next step is we have to insert data. So to insert, just type insert all. Then, of course, type into, okay, then your um, table's name, customers, okay. Then, of course, where do you want to input the data? Okay, we want to put under ID, um, column, name, column, and address, column. Then, of course, what are the values? Okay, I want to insert Customer ID number one, the name is um, Arthur, okay, and the address is example, I'll put Pasay. Then if you want to uh, add, just copy this one, okay, then just change the values. This one is two, this one is three. I'll use this one as sample agu. Then let's try uh, malabon example. And this one cavite. Okay, and this one is let's try Elmer. Then of course, don't forget to type select. Then select this one. Select three p dual. Select three from dual. Then close. So let's try. Again, huh? insert all. Where do you want to insert? In the customer's table. Under customer's table, we have ID column, name column, and address column. Then the values. I want ID number one, name Arthur, and address Pasay. Clear? Let's run. So now we have three rows inserted. Okay, to check, still blank, right? Click this one to refresh. 
Okay, so we now have values. We have ID number one, number two, number three, name, Arthur, pa, Agu, and Elmer. Then we also have address, Pasay, Malabon, and Cavite. This is what we, uh, earlier, diba? if not null, this will not be accepted. Okay, so let's go to the exception. Let's have an example. Okay, we we'll start with the declare. Okay. Begin and end. Okay, let's try it. C underscore ID. I'll use C underscore ID uh, variable name for uh, for name from customers um, table dot ID um, column percent type. If you still remember this on the previous uh, lesson. Okay, we are we are using this one instead of variable character to make sure that we will not encounter any problem. Example, you are not the one who created the table. You will use this one. Okay, you want to get the ID and whatever type it is. Next, we have the C underscore name. Then again, customers dot um, name. So, so get the name. Then percent type. Next, we have the C underscore ADDR. Okay, for the address, you can just get customers that address. Percent type. Now, let's go to the executable section, which is the begin. Okay, we want to select a okay, name column and address column and save it into okay the c underscore name um, variable and c underscore addr variable okay where, where do we want to get it okay from of course customers table then the condition when okay is our condition when id is equals to c underscore id Okay. Sorry, where? Okay. Then your statement. So I want to output DBMS. To output, you have to type DBMS output line. Okay. Then your message inside. So I want to output the name. Okay. Then double bar, get the value stored stored on the variable c name then again i want to output the address also so just type address this is just a message but this one you get the value from the which is stored in the address addr okay let's try okay so what did you notice we have an error we encountered an error and based from the previous report, uh, error, uh, lesson, um, every corresponding error have their uh, every error have their corresponding error number. So this one is aura dash zero one four zero three. The error message is no data found. Then it's the cause. It is action. The problem with this one is you will encounter lag if you have so many programs na or codes. Now to handle the error, we will use now the exception. Let's type exception. Okay. Then the condition always when the format when then your um, error type or the exception. Let's try no underscore data underscore found is already inside the ano, ah, the oracle. Then so again ha huh? when exception this is the exception then after that your statement. I want to output okay, um, no such customer. Okay. okay. So let's try. 
Okay. Let's try. So again, ah, here we created three variables. We have the CID for ID, C underscore name for name, and this is C underscore ADDR for address. Then we want to select name column from name column and address column and save it into the C underscore name variable and C underscore ADDR variable from this one, customer's table, where your ID, this is the condition, where the ID should be C underscore ID, okay? But based here, your C underscore ID is equals to 8. So we're now looking for ID with 8. And we want to get the name of that ID 8, okay? We want to get the name and the address. Okay, if, let's try. Okay, so we encountered error again. But this time, diba? we don't have the detailed error. So this will not encounter, uh, we will not encounter lag here because we handle the error. Okay, why? We encounter this error because we, we are looking for ID number eight. But based on, based on our uh, table, we only have ID number one, two, and three. Okay, so no customers such, no such customer, okay? So this is correct. Let's try one. Okay. When we run, okay, what did you notice? We have now the name from here. We type name and then we get the uh, same uh, value on C underscore name variable. And we also have the PASI because of this one. So basically what we did is we want to search, okay, the ID number with number one and get the name and the address, which is saved here and here. Okay, so let's check if this is correct. Is ID number one Arthur and from Pasay? Correct. ID number one Arthur and Pasay. Okay. Let's try number two. Okay. So we now have name Agu and address Malabon because uh, for number ID number two. Clear. And also not try number three. So we have Elmer and Kabite, which is ID number three. Is this clear, class? So let's have another example. We'll remove this one. So we'll still be using this one and this one. Okay. At this time, this is equals to C and CC underscore ID. Okay. And then we'll add now exception. And the declare value, and the declare call, ano, area. Okay, if you from previous uh, from the previous lecture, okay, just, uh, the process is always give name first to the exception. Okay, so we have x invalid, x underscore invalid underscore id, then the exception. Then let's try to have an example. If okay, c underscore id is less than or equal to zero, then okay, we have to raise the error, the exception. Raise the exception, wherein the exception is named E underscore and valid underscore ID. Okay. Go back. Else, okay, we have to select, again, select the name. I have to select the name, address, okay, and save it into C underscore name, C underscore ADR. Okay, of course, again, from customer's table, okay, condition again, where, okay, ID is equal to C, C, C ID. And of course, we have to print the BMS underscore output line, this one. Then the message is, again, same. Name, name, and get the value stored in the um, variable C underscore name. Okay.
Okay. Then we'll end it with end if. Type end if, and then let's go to the exception. So now we'll try to use um, different exception. When x underscore invalid, okay, underscore id, then I want, and then the statement is, Then the statement is ID must be greater than zero. Okay. Then let's have another exception. When, okay, no underscore data underscore found. Then our output should be okay, no such customer. Okay, and another exception when others, then I want to output. Error encountered. Okay, let's try. Again, let's explain. We created um three variables. We have the C underscore ID, C underscore name, and C underscore address. And then we have also our exception. And the name of our exception is X underscore invalid underscore ID. Okay, let's begin. If the condition is C underscore ID, this one, is less than or equal to zero, then we have to raise. Raise means uh, you, you'll terminate everything and then you'll, you'll transfer everything to the exception. So you have to raise and then let's go to the X underscore invalid underscore ID exception wherein this is it. Okay, so when we go to, when our in, uh, exception is this one, then I want to output this. ID must be greater than zero. Okay, else, okay, it means that if your C underscore ID is not less than or equal to zero, you have we will now select the name, address, and save it to the C underscore name um, column and C underscore ADDR column from customers table where the, this is the condition, where the ID is equal to C ID. Okay, so this will be the output. So let's, let's try to run. Okay. What did you notice? We have now a pop-up, okay, because of this one, the CCID. So enter value for CCID. Let's type um, 1. Okay, so what did you notice? Okay. Yeah. So we have a selected one. So that one is Arthur and Pasay. So, of course, name Arthur, Pasay, so we don't have any error. What if I select size one? I select zero. Okay. Now the the error is ID must be greater than zero because based on our condition, if your C ID or the customer ID is equals to or less than two, less than or equal to zero, then this will be the error. X underscore invalid underscore ID. Where in X underscore invalid underscore ID is this one. So this is the output message okay clear so this is the error now let's try this one what about no data found okay so let's try to run again and let's select numbers that are not here okay so let's try number four okay so the error now is no cost no such customer why because this is now the error that we encountered okay clear now let's try another example i'll add 
same number but different name. Okay. So we now have ID number one and ID number one, which is Arthur and Elmer. So let's try to select number one. Okay. Let's run. Let's select number one. Okay, now the error is error encountered. So we're, we're here on the third exception. Okay, we are, we are going to use when others then if we are not sure about the error. So possible the error here is the too many because you have two uh, ID number one and we are looking for ID number one. So your error is this one. Okay, This one, you already know what the possible error, the invalid ID. The no data found but if you are not sure you can use when others then then this will be the error the problem here is of course you do not know the error unlike this one you know that it should be greater zero this, this should be no such customer clear if you're not sure just use that just use when others and then is this clear okay let's move to the next sample So let's use a race in user defined um, the uh, exception. So let's try declare. So let's try begin exception and end. So let's try to declare variable. Okay, first we'll uh, try to declare a an exception. Okay, then of course you have to name the exception. So we have an exception. Our name is out underscore of underscore stop. Then next we have to declare a variable. Okay, number on a the hand. Then I want to declare a number var number which is equals to number data type one okay again your exception name your exception then you have the variable number on on hand then data type is number the value is one so let's begin if okay number underscore on underscore hand variable is greater than one it's less than one sorry then we have to raise the exception, which is the out underscore of underscore stop. Else, it means that if number is, of course, one or greater than one, the output should be dbms underscore okay output that put underscore line then put your message inside okay let's try stocks let's say stock is available Okay. And of course, you have to close this with and if because you use if. And let's go to the exception. So again, standard when, then your exception, which is out underscore of underscore stop. Okay, then then. So again, when, exception, then. Next is the statement. So I want to print out. Okay, what do you want to print out? Uh, let's sample encountered error in out of stock. Okay, then that's it. So again, huh? We declare we, we declare an exception and name the exception out of stock out underscore of underscore stock, and then we also have the variable. Then we start with this. Uh, begin so if number on hand is less than one this one if this is this one is less than one 
then we have to raise out of stock. Again, raise is terminate everything and then transfer to the exception, wherein your exception is out of stock, named out of stock. So you will go to this one. You will skip this one. Okay. Go to exception. Now when out of, this is off. Okay. When, when underscore out of stock exception, then I want this to be the output. Okay. Let's try to run. Okay. Now, the answer is stock is available. Why? Because based on the condition, if number underscore on hand is less than one, this will go here. But if not, we'll go to the else. So one is not less than one. Okay? So your output should be this one. What if we try zero? So now, this is the error. Okay? Because we satisfy the condition clear number on hand is less than one which is called zero then let's go to this line raise out of stock and we will not uh, we will ignore this one because we will go directly to the exception and this is our output this is clear so let's have another example okay we have to declare again Okay, and then um, let's try account underscore type and integer, okay, is equals to 7. Then let's begin. Addition, okay, if account underscore type variable, okay, not in. One, two, and three. Then, of course, let's raise an exception. Else, okay, output the BMS underscore out. Okay, put that put underscore line then your message okay number is valid okay. then of course and if then now let's go to the exception again when what is your uh, exception is one Invalid underscore number. It's already inside the oracle. Then, so what is your output? Okay. Let's try. Handling invalid input by rolling back. Okay. Then, type roll back. And end. Okay, let's try this one. We have declared a an integer uh, uh, the, the, uh, variable with an integer data type with a value of seven. Seven. Okay, your value is seven. Then let's try. If account type not in one, two, three, then we have to raise the exception, which is the invalid number. So you'll go directly to the exception. So when in valid underscore number exception, then okay, your output will be wait. Okay, okay. Okay, your output will be this one. Then the rollback. So let's try. Okay, so we encountered error. We go directly to the exception. So this one is our error. Handling invalid input by rolling back. Why? Because based on the condition, you should be 1, 2, or 3. But we input 7, so we'll go to the... We did not satisfy this one, so we'll go to the race, which is we'll stop the everything, and then transfer everything to the exception. We'll move to the exception. Now, this will be your output. Okay. When this is the exception, then output this one. Clear? Now, 
let's try number one. Okay. So, number is valid. Okay. From this one, we satisfy number one. So, we ignore this one and we go to the else. Okay. We go to this line. And then we output number is valid. Let's try number two. Okay. Run. Again, number is valid because you are you fall under one, two, and three. Let's try number three again. So still, number is valid. Clear? Of course, if you will try to input number four, you should encounter error. That's correct. So handling invalid input. So you go directly to the exception. Is this clear? Clear class? So let's have last example. Okay. So this one. We declare three variables. We have salary underscore two underscore high, current underscore salary, max underscore salary, and the erroneous salary. So let's begin. Did you notice we have what we call the um, sub block? Sub block means you can create another um, begin inside. Okay, the executable inside the begin. So let's start. Begin first. This is the first begin. So we have first exception. So first, if the current if the current underscore salary is greater than the maximum salary, did you notice this one? The current salary. Let's try this one. The current salary is twenty thousand, but and the maximum salary is ten thousand. Okay. So raise. Uh, raise. Let's use the raise and then go to the salary underscore too high exception. This one. So when this, the sal current salary is uh, greater than maximum salary, your output should be this one. Okay, the salary, erroneous salary is out of range. Okay, and then DBMS output, now the maximum salary is what is the maximum salary. But if you want to okay, handle the error more thoroughly, we'll have another exception after this one. Okay, create another exception. Then when, again, when salary underscore too high, then we have the erroneous salary, this one, is equals to the current salary, so 20,000. And I want the current salary to be equal to the maximum salary. This is the current salary, but it should be only the maximum salary. So let's try to run. Oh, that's the error. Okay, so this one. So you will notice, okay, let's go first on the first exception. Okay, the salary is out of range, okay, because the erroneous salary is 20,000 and the max salary is only 10,000. So this is the first exception. Okay, then your maximum salary is only 10,000. Then we'll, we'll go to the next exception. Okay, we want revising salary from erroneous salary, the erroneous salary is 20,000, to the current salary, which is 10,000. Is this clear? Clear? Um, we have also sample of this one on the uh, le our lecture in LMS, so you can also check. Okay, last session is also, uh, no, we have the PowerPoint presentation in LMS. Okay, any question? Okay, if there are no questions, that will be all class and thank you for attending the sessions. Okay, so that will be all class and thank you.